Southwest Florida, we have a treasure here that Maryland only wishes it had. The unsung hero, the never famous, forever living in the shadow of the stone crab, the incredibly delicious Maryland blue crab, which actually also comes from right here in Southwest Florida. Welcome to Silly Flow Life. This is Nancy Bjork. Nancy's from Maryland, and she's a bit of a crab aficionado. Probably from the time I was a child, I can remember crabs running around my kitchen floor. Dad bring them home, and we'd steam them, and we'd try to get them into the pot. Probably two years old is my first memory. If it wasn't for the fact that we have the same blue crabs here that they do back home in Maryland, I don't think she'd have moved to Southwest Florida. Well, we kind of knew we had a lot of options here because Maryland doesn't get all its crabs from Maryland. They actually get them from the Gulf of Mexico. Maryland can only crab for six months a year. Down here in Southwest Florida, we crab year round. So an enormous amount of wintertime blue crabs get shipped up north. When we came to Florida, we had to try the stone crab. And, and I got some big ones and yes, the price was crazy, but I figured it might, might be, maybe it's worth it. I pay ridiculous prices for crabs in Maryland. But for Nancy, it wasn't the same. You know, in Maryland, I'll pay $90 a dozen. $90 a dozen. But here I can get them so much cheaper because they don't love the crabs the way we do. So now she's got sunshine and her crabs year round for a way better price. Well, when you start your pot, you do start your pot with a beer and some vinegar. And then we start layering the crabs in and each layer we cover with some of the spice. If there's enough space, throw some corn on the cob on top, cover them up, put a brick on it. They're pretty docile, but if they're not, they'll knock that top off. Put a brick on it, 30 minutes and they're done. You pull them out and of course we paper the table with the brown paper. Yeah, I mean when you get it cleaned off and you get that perfect back fin lump, that's just like a lollipop. Called my little lollipop. <laughs> now in Florida, when they do sell blue crabs in restaurants, it's usually not prepared Maryland style. It's cooked in garlic and butter and Nancy has two simple words for this Florida method. It's wrong. <laughs> Take that garlic and butter mixture, let me dip a steamed crab in it, that'd be perfect. This is such a beautiful, delicious shellfish that an entire state has branded itself on these crabs. And we, we have them year round and fairly priced. Turns out the crabbing's better here, the prices are better here, and it's warm all year round. So buy them here, but cook them Maryland style and make a huge mess with your friends. But remember, this isn't a meal, it's an activity. It's not a meal. It's an activity. It's exactly what we say back home. It's the conversations that are happening in the midst of it and the drinking and it takes a while. It's just fun and delicious. They are delicious.